All right, so got a little free time. I'm gonna go through this box and get rid of all this trash and stuff. Let me look at this. This is pitiful. <laughs> I don't care. But what we got here? We got a bag, a rag, old bottle, some steel old bottles. This was mine. I, the trailer come with a four pin connector and my truck takes a seven pin so i had to go and spend the last ten dollars i had with me the day i bought the trailer to go and uh get an adapter because i left mine at the house and I, it was late at night and i didn't want to risk pulling it on the road with uh with no lights working but uh i'm gonna take my little shop back clean this out and probably take some sort of a cleaner and wipe it down so I can get the grease and stuff out of it because I just don't like if something like this gets dirty where I'm going to be in it all the time and it uh, ends up leaving grease all over my, grease and stuff all over my hands I hate that but uh, mainly just some trash that's in there this trimmer line here i'm gonna use this i've got a bump head and i'm keeping in the trailer the trailer box i'll also pull it up with this and leave it in there um, most of this stuff is going in so i'm not staying out but i went ahead and bought a trailer lock i don't know if I need to or not because i've got a combination lock on the latch but i bought that kit i want to keep the trailer up here by the garage and we'll have to put a stake in the ground i believe if I do that, but I don't like leaving it down there in the yard, really. But uh, I'm gonna get my shop vac, vacuum this out. I gotta get gas today too. My sure can still got some gas in it though, but my little shop vac is a Stanley four horsepower, four gallon. I used it the first time the other day vacuuming my truck out and it does really well. So I try and vacuum this out and I'm gonna try and get around to pressure washing it today if I feel like it is hot and whatnot, but uh I'm gonna pressure wash the trailer and pressure wash my mower and sharpen blades and grease my mower and hopefully get my trimmer racks mounted too start getting stuff mounted on this thing getting it ready but uh huh. i had that lid to stay up there for a while and then i went and fold with it Well, crap. Let's see if I can get the study this time. Maybe. Probably not. Oh well. No harm, no foul. Let's see if I can get some doing some back from here.
got that side done. Got to do the other side. Oh, by the way, I'm going tomorrow to Castlewood to get some insurance, but I'm going to check one place before I go up there. Hopefully, I can get a quote tomorrow, same day. But uh, it's a very local place. I'm hoping that I can get a quote from them. A good quote at that, but if I. I don't know how that's going to go, but I'm going to check it out anyway. I'm going to stay up there, lid. The only thing I hate about this box, other than that, I love the box. wish the lids would stay up. I'm going to have to make me a stopper, a thing to make them stay up. some sort of a cleaner to clean got this stuff here is what little I've got misty wax and polish or the All right, so this is what I've got so far. I got my trimmer rack on the driver's side. Reason being is most of the time when I'm out mowing and whatnot, I go to the driver's side. It seems like, I don't know why exactly, but I'm mounting my trimmer racks over there. I'm thinking about keeping my cooler up here. I well, I'd like to make it to where I could tie it down or something. I've thought about just leaving it there all the time, but I don't, I don't particularly like that idea. I don't know if it would take moisture, if water would get in it or not, in the rain and stuff. And I don't like the idea of that happening. My five-gallon gas can, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I'm thinking just strapping it in there somehow or something. I don't know yet. I'd really like to find a way to keep it mounted on the rails but like i say i don't know this here i'm either going to keep my leaf blower or my sure can in there i'm thinking about just finding another milk crate and bolting it directly to this one in front that way i can keep my sure can in the back like this keep my blower right here but uh don't know about that yet so that's all I've got for now. I wanted to get the trailer pressure wash, my mower pressure wash, blade sharpening and, grease done to, and greasing done today, but 
I just it took too long. I started too late, and I just I got the energy kind of getting a headache right now too. But uh, I don't know. I believe if I get another milk crate, I'll have everything pretty much the way I want it, except for the gas jug, which the sides on this trailer. I wish that there was a cross member right directly across through here and around the front. That way, if I put anything up underneath this box, it won't come out the sides. I mean, I know what that's the lip down there should stop that, but it's still, it's it seems like it'd be possible to me with enough shaking that uh, you know that jug would fly out there unless I had it strapped in really good. But uh, I looked through the box. I'm keeping a ratchet strap over here and my trailer locks. I've got my blower in here just for mock-up, I guess you could say, just to see how things are going to fit. Property of Texas Veteran Lawn Service. I stole that right off his truck. He didn't even know it. <laughs> then over here, I've just got my trimmer line. Those are them pieces of line, like I said, that's in this box. They're long enough that I can spool up with them. Plus, I've got this spool right here, so I'm good on trimmer line for quite a while, considering how few yards I mow. But I've got more ratchet straps, two things of steel oil, every trimmer line, and that caution triangle's in there. And then, of course, my trimmer racks over here. I mounted them so far forward because I wanted to use this bolt. This is already here, of course, holding for the toolbox. And it just kind of seemed like a logical thing for me, but uh, good and stout. That one, never, not quite as stout, but it still ain't going nowhere. Sometime or never, I'm going to get a uh, lift assist of some sort, definitely because I'm lazy, but uh, that's, it's shaping up. So now, until I can figure out what I'm gonna do with the uh, five gallon jug, I'm good. And yes, I did just zip tie that milk crate right there. Well, I zip tied it and I bolted it to the toolbox. Got four zip ties. And a bolt right there, if you can see that. But I mean, look at this. I'm shaking the whole trailer. It ain't giving at all. Out here it is a little bit because it's weak. Plus, it's not mounted to anything solid. But I mean, that ain't going nowhere. And I'm kind of thinking about if I get another crate, I'd actually hard mount it to this and mount it to this right here, and keep my sure can in here and my blower right there. And then, like I say, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with that jug, how I'm going to put it. I mean, it probably wouldn't go nowhere. Just run a strap around, around it in that corner or something there. I don't know. I'd rather have it a little bit more secure and out of the way or something there. I could fold up a push mower and put it under that box if I need it. Yes, anyway. But that's how she's shaping up so far. I'm really wanting to leave this trailer parked right here where I've got my truck or else clean out the garage and put it in there, which I kind of don't want to do. I'd rather keep the trailer outside. But I don't know. I'm going to have to work that out later on or something. But uh, let's see. That's all I could think of for now. That's probably all that's going to be done with this video. I doubt I'll get around to pressure washing the John Deere and the trailer and stuff today like I wanted. I may end up taking the mower deck off the John Deere since it's easy to take off. I might go ahead and grease and get the blades off and maybe even sharpened. That way all I'd have to do is pressure wash it. But, I don't know. 
<sighs> I just don't feel all that great today. But anyway, until I make something else come up with something else, I'll see you all later.